Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about Google Drive. What is Google Drive? Whenever you hear the word Google, you probably think of searching the internet. Google is, in fact, a technology company which offers internet related services and products. These products are often referred to as productivity tools. Google Drive is just one of the many Google Productivity Tool products. Google Drive is a free cloud-based storage solution for your files. Cloud-based means not on your laptop, accessible from anywhere you have an internet connection. Cloud-based also means anyone you share files with can collaborate in real time. All of this sharing and collaboration means behind Google's gold star of web security. From your computer, go to google.com. If you have never created an account, you will be prompted to follow Google's instructions. A quick way to access your Google Drive is to open your Chrome browser and look at the top right corner, and you'll see an icon with six stacked dots. Some may say this looks like a waffle. Once you click on the waffle, you will see icons for each of Google's productivity tools. Choose Drive. In the top left corner of Drive, you will see a large New button. Click on the New button and options will appear. In Google Drive, there are several different types of documents that can be created. Three of those are Docs, Sheets, and Slides. If you are familiar with Microsoft Office, Google Docs is Microsoft's Word. Google Sheets is Microsoft's Excel. Google Slides is Microsoft's PowerPoint. Why does Council More work with Google Drive? Because Google Drive is intuitive and easy for everyone. It is used by schools across the world. It is used by almost every high school student. How will I be using Google Drive with the Council More app? You will use Google Drive to receive and share files with and from students. You will store all documents for a student in your Google Drive. Students will use your Google Drive without needing to send you links to documents. How do I set up? a Google account. From your computer, go to google.com. If you have never created an account, you will be prompted to follow Google's instructions. If you have an email account associated with your business, try signing in with that email. You will be taken directly to a Google Drive account if there is one already in existence. You do not need to have an at Gmail address. When creating an account, look for small blue letters at the bottom that read, use my current email address instead. Then Google will take you through a series of instructions. Follow those instructions. Sharing a Google Drive document. It's important for you to know no one will see your Google Drive. Only those whom you have shared documents or folders with will be able to access those documents and folders, not your Drive. A visitor cannot access or navigate within your Google Drive. Share also has additional levels of privileges. For example, a student can access all files, but the counselor might choose to allow the parent to only view and not edit, or to comment and not edit, or to remove all privileges, and the student and parent can both collaborate 
with the counselor on all documents. How to share. When a Google document is open, look at the top right hand corner to see the blue share button. These steps are the same when sharing docs, sheets, and slides. From now on, I will refer only to docs. The types of permissions are edit, comment, or view. Here, also behind the share button, you can get a shareable link and pass that link to anyone. Next to that, you can set the permissions of that link. If a student says, I have shared a document with you, but you cannot find it, return to your top My Drive in your Google Drive account and look just below that. You will see an option for Shared with me. You can view the history of all changes on every document by looking at the top center of the screen and you will see revision history. Quick facts. You can upload files from your computer to your Google Drive. You can create folders, documents, and organize those folders within your Google Drive just by click, hold, and drag. Also, you can right-click on a folder and choose Move To. Also under that right-click option is to change the color of the folder so as you may find it more easily later. Also, in the top right-hand corner, you will see a gear icon. These are for your preferences and settings within your Google Drive. Click there, get to know your options. Thank you for listening, and we hope this was helpful. If you'd like more, go to the top right-hand corner of your blue banner in your application and click the Help button. Choose Knowledge Base and search for any topic there. Thank you, and counsel more.